Yes, yes. Let me um, make sure the chat's up. Things are up. Allie, you're back. Come on. I love it. <laughs> Yay. I love that you're back. Yeah, we're going to hop on here in a bit. Yay, there's some more humans coming on. Hello, hello, hello. Go ahead and uh, let me know. Wendy, yes, you're here. I love that you're here. Yes. Um, let me know. Go ahead and pop in the chat uh, what you would like us to focus our practice on because today is, uh, this practice is beautifully brief. Uh, so grateful to be doing this with the Jewish Community Center. It's an awesome place uh, here in the Dallas area that I get to be a part of. Um, something that's super cool about being with JACC is uh, just the diversity there. It's so freaking rad. Uh, it's not only, uh, you know, diverse when it comes to, um, you know, color, you know, there's people of color, all sorts of different races. There's different creeds represented there. There's different ages represented there. It's so cool. Like I, I love being there so much. Um, I'm actually right now burning uh, some patchouli that was gifted to me from one of our um, students, regular students in the yoga community. I'm gonna see if I can bring it. Yeah, so one of my rituals I'm teaching with y'all is offering y'all some incense. I always burn incense and some candles uh, to help kind of get the space ready. Hello, hello. Terry, you're here. I love it. <laughs> love that you're here. Yeah, so go ahead and pop in the chat uh, what you would like us to focus on. Is anything especially sore or tight? Um, anything... Uh, Needing extra love, I know, for me anyway, there's been a lot of, a lot more walking than usual and running to help uh, weave in that self-care. So, tends to be uh, the need for some releasing for the legs, maybe some low back releasing. Anything, especially needing the love, y'all. I got my thoughts, so no worries. I just want to hear from you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep on checking the chat, see if anything's needing the love. Yay, Terry. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. I wanna honor your time and acknowledging that our time together is precious. It's a, a very short and sweet practice for us. Uh, 30 minutes of uh, that will weave in some flow as well as some, of course, live music with me and the harmonium, my love partner in crime. <laughs> so for those of y'all that are new to me, it's an instrument from India. Uh, whenever I get to see y'all again at the J, I will absolutely be bringing my smaller version of this, uh, but this is the um, harmonium I usually bring with me to events. And of course, for my own home practice, it's here. So I get to share with y'all some love in that way, in final relaxation, Shavasana. So let's go ahead and start in a comfortable seated position. That being said, maybe this practice is on your bed, maybe it's at your couch, in a chair, it's all good y'all, for real. And the gift of us practicing in our homes is, uh, I won't really know. <laughs> so really just indulge and enjoy uh, and let it fit the needs of your body, your mind, your heart. So yeah, let's go ahead and start by bringing the hands down to our legs, inhaling your shoulders up to your ears, shoulders drop open mouth, one more big inhale, big exhale, and then shoulder circles front to back, four, as slow as you'd like, maybe it's even slower than my tempo. And then head circles one direction. Let the body follow the movement of your head. 
So maybe the torso follows, maybe the shoulders. Just go ahead and color outside the lines and let this be like a check in with your body. How is your body moving at this time of day? And then the other way, y'all. Let this way be completely different. Good, one more big circle, allowing the body to follow this movement, lengthening our spines up, and then flow your right ear to your right shoulder. Can the left shoulder ease down? Maybe even the left hand drizzles away from your lap. And then shoulder circles, just the left shoulder. This is to try to offset all of the uh, interacting, I'll say, <laughs> we've been doing with social media, with our smartphones, with our technology. And then easing in that shoulder, find circles with just the wrist. And maybe you notice how this affects the left side of your neck. Isn't that wild? Totally normal. And then the other way. Good. Left arm flows closer to the floor. And then left ear, left shoulder, so the other side. Right shoulder circling front to back. So this is a good way to try to weave in a bit of loving movement between sessions. Maybe uh, you are able to work uh, cyber, uh, you know, and interact with these uh, technologies. So this is a good way to free up your neck and shoulders. And then rotating through the wrist. flows closer to the floor so the crown rises up. Hands on your legs again, shoulders up again. Shoulders drop, open up. One more. Okay, go ahead and find cross-legged seated position with me. And normal, if the moment you flow, you're noticing your knees are up high <laughs> or your low back starts talking to you, completely normal. Uh, no worries. We're going to bring the hands onto the legs and then bring your heart forward. Chin flows to the sky. Chin in, spine curls back, creating a C. Three more like that. And I'll give you a side view so you can uh, witness how the pelvis is shifting with us. Offering some uh, release to the back space, the shoulders, the hips. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and lengthen our spines all the way up and then pour your spine over the crossing of your legs. Maybe the hands flow forward, but more important is that we ground through our sit bones and allow your head to bow to your heart. Can the shoulders relax down your back away from your ears? Yeah, three more big breaths. At the end of your third exhale, hands are at center. Walk your hands over to the right, drawing a half circle shape on the floor. And we're gonna keep the left sit bone down. Keep your spine easing down. So the more the left sit bone roots down, the more we get to free up the left side of our low backs. Yeah, two more big breaths. and then flowing back to center with your hands. Over to the left, drawing your half circle shape on the floor. Right sit bone grounding down, releasing your spine, releasing the breath. Good. And then back to center, rolling up your spine, arms reach for the sky. Hands flow together at your lifted heart. We'll go ahead and guide one hand onto your heart and one hand down to the surface below you, connecting to what is supporting you. So maybe it's the bed, the couch, maybe the floor. And then we'll allow our hearts to rise up into our hand 
On the inhale, exhale to ground in support. Inhale to rise. Exhale to ground. Four more breaths. This can help us if we ever feel overwhelmed. Exhaling into that tactile support. So actually feeling that surface that your hand is touching. That's a resource is what we call it in trauma-informed yoga to help us find a way to anchor into the here and now. One of the great gifts of yoga is it helps us ground into the here and now. So bringing now both hands to your heart, bow your head to your heart and invite into your practice one thing you may wish to ground in. Maybe it's the awareness of these beautiful offerings from the J, this beautiful resource to the community. Maybe it's grounding into uh, the gift that is a space you were practicing in. Maybe it's something else. devoting every movement and breath of our practice to grounding in this one thing. And so with that being said, the arms can ease down, flowing one leg on top of the other. Doesn't matter which leg, we're gonna find our way into child's pose, balasana. So bring your knees out wide to the width of your mat, big toes together to touch behind you, and bring the hips back to the heels. Maybe you flow a blanket or a towel underneath your ankles, if that feels a bit much, and the hands can flow down. Allowing your forehead to maybe kiss the mat, or another option even, is to stack our fists on top of one another and bring the bridge of your nose onto that top thumb knuckle. That's a pressure point that's actually meant to help reduce stress. So maybe we stay here, and feel free to stay here the whole class. Like I said earlier, I don't know, <laughs> so go for it. It's all good, y'all. Three big breaths. Remembering what you're grounding in every single exhale is an opportunity to ground. And at the end of your third exhale, on your timing, no rush, you can stay, <laughs> or find your way into tabletop position Hands and knees. So the knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide. Inhale, cow spine, heart and seat rising. Exhaling, cat spine, navel deep. Three more, your timing. Allowing elbows to bend, hips to sway, color outside the lines. Tapping in to what helps your body feel free and grounded. Good. So something with extra caring attention to our calves and Achilles tendons. So tuck your right toes under and then swim your right leg long along the mat. The toes are going to stay anchored into the mat as we press the heel back. Oh, I hope you feel that. <laughs> Normal to witness quite a bit in your right calf, the Achilles tendon. Yeah, especially if you're doing a lot of walking, uh, jumping rope, running. The heel is pressing back on the inhale, shifting yourself forward on the exhale. And then two more, just like that. And this is a bit of a warm-up of sorts for downward facing dogs. It may feel like a lot these days. Float that right leg up, right knee meets the left tabletop position, Gathering any stressors and aggravations as we inhale, cow. Clear them out, open them up. One more, gather them up. Let them be known, open them up. Long spine, left toes tuck under. Left leg sliding long along the mat, pressing the heel back. Yeah, maybe one side's a bit tighter than the other. That's completely normal. And then we inhale here, exhale to shift forward. Two more. 
How's your breath? How long can the breaths be? And then that leg floats. Left knee meets the right tabletop position. Cow spine, lifting heart and seat. Cat spine, open up. One more. Long spine, toes tuck under. Downward facing dog, inverted V. Now maybe you can stay in stillness. Maybe you want to walk the dog, alternating bending one knee and then the other. Maybe you're articulating through the feet, freeing up the feet. Can the shoulders travel up your back, away from your ears? Good. Lifting your heels up, bending knees, looking at your hands, feet towards your hands, forward fold. Halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, easing spine. Bending knees, rolling up your spine. Arms reach for the sky. Hands together at your heart. Now close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat with your thumbs. Remember what is helping you ground. Feeling that tactile connection with the ground below your feet. Grounding. Inhale, the hands to flow down. Lift your heart, shine your face up. Chin into your chest, bend your knees, rolling down your spine, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhaling, hands and knees, tabletop position. Maybe this is how you flow every single time. Cow spine, lifting heart. Cat spine, open back. One more. Long spine, toes tuck under, downward facing dog. Maybe this is a time for child's pose. It's all good. <laughs> or maybe we inhale down dog, exhale high push-up position plank. Two more inhales and exhales. Whatever you choose is absolutely perfect. High push-up folks, we're going to inhale here. Exhale the heels back, core forward, micro bend of the elbows, micro bend, not the full chaturanga. Two big breaths. Can you pull your core to the front of the space? Inhaling, all of us child's pose, knees out wide, big toes together to touch. Gather that effort as we inhale together through the nose. Open mouth clearing. Float your hands up. Rotate through the wrists. That might have been a lot for your wrists. So being extra aware. Okay, and then other way. Grounding through the hands. Toes tuck under. Inverted V, downward facing dog. Inhale to look at your hands. Exhale, feet to your hands. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, ease. Bending knees, rolling up, arms reaching up, hands together at your heart. Okay, something different. <laughs> We're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale to swan dive down. I'm going to face you to make it a little easier. Halfway lift, inhale. Bending knees, plant your hands down. Step your left foot back. Runner's lunge, the right leg is in front. So now the hands stay grounded. Maybe they're on blocks extra pillows, blankets, and then we can inhale, cow spine, exhale, cat. Three more, allowing your legs to shift, allow your pelvis to shift. Be generous with the movement of your head. This way we could free up the neck. Okay, so now left hand underneath the left shoulder, Right fingertips, reach for the sky, twisting to your right. And so twists like this are known to be uh, fantastic for your back space. Also uh, helps us to detoxify the body. Inhaling, twisting, exhale that top hand down. Back foot spins flat, so the entire back foot is in contact with the mat. Lifting your arms, lifting your heart, warrior one. Hands on the hips. Inhale, shoulders up, shoulders drop. One more time, inhale, shoulders drop. Front leg straight. 
Front knee bends, lift your heart. Three more, just like that. Pressing the mat away with the outer edge of your back foot to support the back knee joint. And hopefully you can notice every time you bend the knee, pull your core and your face up, that we're lengthening this left hip flexor. That's helping to offset all the chair sitting we're doing. Yeah. Now the arms can flow back up to warrior one. Bringing your left wrist into your right hand as we reach up and then over to the right. Yes, it's balance. You're not crazy. <laughs> We're lengthening the side body. Yep, arms up. Parting those hands. Hands on the hips. Let's take time with the feet as the front foot aligns with the back arch. So it's like we're drawing a T of sorts. Then your hips and heart open to your left, pulling your low abdominals up and in, arms out like a T, warrior two. Being kind to our hips, so legs long, arms ease down. Bend your front knee, arms T. Two more, just like that. Imagining that you're flowing through an element of water. Perhaps it can inspire tranquility and resilient strength. Legs long, all 10 toes face the space to your left, inhaling our hearts to reach up, and then exhale to bend your knees. Walk your hands down the legs for wide-legged forward fold. We're only here about two big breaths, so make them count. Bending knees, rolling up your spine. The arms will stay down so we can encourage ease in the shoulders. Shoulder circles front to back three. Hands and fists. Bring them behind you at where your low back flows to your glutes. Elbows to one another. Lift up your heart. Guide your hips forward. Reach your heart up and away. Hip flexor release. One more breath. Lifting ourselves up, hands to your hips, all 10 toes facing the front again. Back foot meets the front. Inhale, arms up. Swan dive down. Halfway lift, inhale. Bending knees. Step your right foot back now, runner's lunge. The left leg is in front. Hands will stay anchored down while we inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Three more. Bending that front knee. Right hand down, left arm sky, twisting to your left. A micro bend of this right elbow. We don't want to hyperextend in the joints. Yeah. Inhale, maybe the gaze flows up to your top hand. And then top hand down. Back foot spinning flat. Warrior one, rising arms and heart. Ease to your shoulders. And then hands that flow down to your hips. Inhale, shoulders up. Shoulders drop. One more. Front leg straight, front knee bending, lifting core, heart, your face up. Three more. Softly, lovingly encouraging this right hip flexor to release while we tap into strength with this left leg. Could you ground the left heel down while you do this? That will encourage some hamstring activation as well. And then the arms will flow up that third time we bend the left knee. Right wrist to left hand, up and over to your left. How's the balance on this side? Normal for one side to feel more of that challenge. Back to center, hands on hips. Front foot aligning with your back arch. Hips and heart opening to your right. Warrior two, arms T. Inhaling T, arms. Exhaling, legs long, arms relax. Two more. 
Remembering your element of water. Help rejuvenate and cleanse. Hands on hips. All ten toes facing the space to your right. Lifting your heart. Shining your face up. Bending knees, walking hands down the legs, wide-legged, forward fold. You get to stay here longer. So first, let's think of the sit bones flowing up the wall behind you. And then the spine easing down. Four long breaths here. Bending knees, arms will stay down as we roll up the spine. Shoulder circles, front to back, three. Hands and fists behind you. Elbows to one another as we lift our spines up. And then guide your hips forward, reach your heart up and away. Hip flexor releasing again. All the way up. All ten toes facing your front. Back foot meets the front. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands and knees, tabletop position. Cow the spine, lifting heart. Open mouth cap. One more. Long spine, child's pose, knees out wide, big toes together, hips easing back. Now maybe this time your forehead sways side to side along your mat or along your fists to help free up the neck a bit more. And consider how soft can your jaw be right now? Can you find more ease around your lips, the muscles of your face? your shoulders, hands underneath the shoulders, lift your heart up just enough to flow the legs over to one side, and then bringing your bottoms of your feet to touch, knees opening away, diamond shaped legs, long lifted spine, reaching your spine forward, bending the elbows away from the knees. So we're not pressing into the knees, if anything, we're letting the knees press down to help extract the citrus. Three big breaths. I'm so happy to see some more of y'all have joined. Hopefully y'all are joining for the sounds at the end. I'm about to get into that. All the way up. Bringing your legs long, feet to the front of your space, getting ready to lie down. Arms in front, heart reaching up, and then come all the way down. Once you're down, I'm gonna stay up to help you know what's next. Hug your knees into your heart and sway your legs side to side to love on your low back. I'm gonna see some of these sweet comments. Oh, Melissa, I missed you too. Yeah, I've been thinking about you a lot, actually. Arms opening out wide. Thumbs are pointed towards the same uh, uh, direction that your crown is pointed towards. Bending those knees, flow your knees over to the right as the face and heart reaches over, gazing at your left palm. Three more big breaths here. Letting yourself be held by this moment, this practice. And then the legs will come back to center, keeping your arms open, flowing your legs over to the left, face and heart opening towards that right side of you. Easing the shoulders, easing your hands. What can be at peace here? Three more big breaths. And after your third exhale, flowing your legs back to center, offering your body any remaining movements you may need to support a position of rest. Your final relaxation, your Shavasana. 
and I get to now wash over y'all some sounds of yoga. These are sounds um, from my album, Shine a Light. And these are sounds that are especially inspired by the beautiful people I get to meet at the J that carries the spirit of the J within them, which is really a lot about servitude and collective well-being. In a meeting that we had, we were considering um, all those that the J gets to serve, the children, the seniors, those who may be alone in their homes, considering wellness for all. So these sounds are loka hasamasta sukhi no bhavantu and these sounds mean may all beings be happy and free from suffering and may I contribute to the happiness, to the wellness of all. Just by tuning in and staying here, you are supporting your well-being so that you can show up for those around you.
one side completely relaxed. Guide yourself up to your comfortable seated position. Gathering sweetness as the arms flow out and up to the sky. Hands together at your lifted heart. Arms out and up, gathering up all of your good intentions. Exhaling them into your lifted heart. Arms reaching out and up, gathering up sweetness. Exhaling sweetness into your lifted heart. Bowing head to heart. So grateful for this time with all y'all. Wishing for you a day and evening filled with moments of reclaiming connection to sweetness within you and seeking out the sweetness around you. From my heart to yours, namaste. tuned in to J Connect uh, because that's going to have uh, uh, the links and the listings for you to stay with all of us uh, passionate facilitators offering a collective wellness opportunities over and over again. Yay, Susan, Amy, I got to see you again. Oh, I'm Megan. Come on, y'all. Yay. Oh, it was so good to be of service to you, Amy. Yeah. Yeah. No, y'all, it really was such a gift. Thank you so much for being here with us. Stay with Jay Connect because it's going to give you all the links. Um, I already saw on the Facebook page they had the schedule uh, listed for this week. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to join in mindful movement and maybe some more loving sounds later. Again, my name is Stephanie Tovar, so hopefully I'll be able to see y'all again and be a service to you in all things, all kinds of yoga. Yeah, see y'all later. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, Suzanne, oh, y'all are a gift. It's a gift to be here with y'all. It really is. It really, really is. Love y'all.